everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Emma and Georgia and today we are watching High School Musical The Musical The Series Season 4 Episode 1. If you want to watch our uncut C's reactions, link to the patrons down below. High School Musical is back with We're the back, final baby. series. Oh my god. I, I did kind of expect it, you know, when they announced it because it feels like everything is only four seasons these days. I mean, look, we have Never Have I Ever. True. We also True. have Sex Education's going to be coming to an end after four series as well. I feel like that is a new thing for four seasons. Mm. To, and it feels like the right time because I imagine this season is when a lot of them will be graduating and things are never the yeah. same when high school shows move on to college. Like, they just aren't. So, <laughs> no, it is a good idea. I know. Yeah, I mean, they've done the same thing with never have i ever they're stopping when they're mm, you know before yeah. they go because like, it's the right time you know you don't want to drag it out because it will lower the quality of the whole show and that's not what you want you want to remember them in a good way yeah so yeah i think it i think it's going to be a good time season four we left off from them at camp so yes different scenes i take it you <laughs> didn't watch the trailer i didn't me neither i don't really like watching trailers because i feel like it gives too much for me yeah i feel the same but i do remember you saying when we were watching season three that like a load of the cast were coming back the the og cast from the film yes so yesterday i was on twitter and i didn't get a spoiler but i saw that we've got chad taylor and ryan coming back mm. um and someone else that's the choreographer i can't remember her name sorry but we've got a few familiar faces i, I didn't so know she was a choreographer was really cool. but i do remember them bringing back uh is her name martha that girl it, the path of luck and Jim and Jake. Oh yeah, <laughs> I it she might be was her. in it might be like her. season one for an episode. So maybe, I, well, I'd assume she'll probably come back. She'd probably be buzzing too. Um, yeah, yeah. But other than that, I don't know anything. I don't even know if they have stuck. Well, actually, I do because you just said. But I wouldn't have known if they'd stuck with that. But I just remember you saying when we were watching season three that was what was planned for season four, and thought it was quite cool. Um, yeah. But yes, uh, the events of Camp Shallow Lake, I assume we're going to spill into this season with Ricky and Gina now being together, EJ going yeah. off to college, and then wasn't it revealed that like, Jet fancied Courtney out of nowhere from the documentary thing? It was hinted at that he liked Courtney, and then obviously Maddox and Ashlyn kind of had a thing going on, but then Big Red came yeah. out of nowhere and said he was bi. So it's like, what is happening? Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I know. <laughs> Regarding to the relationships, it's all over the place. Besides Ricky and Gina, I'm pretty certain they'll be in the game because everyone loves them. But with everyone else, I don't know who is going to be in game. Obviously, Seven Carlos, they're the like other strong one. Oh, they're, you know, they're the strongest right then now. Then Seth like, wasn't in season yeah. three either. So we didn't really get to see any of them in season three. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, they're the only two couples that I think will end up together. Besides that, I have no idea. Like, Big Red and Ashlyn might break up, and it might be um, Maddox and Ashlyn. And then Courtney was with Howie, but she might end up with Jet. Yeah. So I, uh, they just have to explore these new couples, I guess, to really know where we stand. Exactly. Yeah, I think we need to see more and you know tease these different relationships to see what works. And it's going to be really fun to watch because it sounds like it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to have some new people involved here. It's a good thing the cameras won't be in our faces back at school, right? Depends how famous you are. I'm excited to see that as well. What's there going to be like people outside the school like, can we get a picture? Are you Ricky Bowen from High School Musical, the musical, the documentary, the series? <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god. Good start! Got yeah, some that, familiar that's faces! Martha. It's on the coat! It is a beautiful night in Albuquerque! Thanks to all of your Literally, Taylor looks exactly faces. the same. Yeah, yeah. how is she, she not aged, aged at like all? a fine wine? I would someday be the principal of East High School. He's the principal? Right. What? <laughs> this means so much to me that you are here. 
I love you. you oh me? my god. He is now confirmed gay. What? Oh, yeah, coach. Jesus Christ, this is too much. Happy retirement, Miss Starbucks! Miss Starbucks? What is going on? Here to say a big wildcat thank you. It's the current drama class of East High. Who the hell is that boy? Yeah, who was that? Oh my gosh, what does Ricky think of this? Seething behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> what the frick? Is this part of it? What? Let's take it from Mac and Gina's entry. What the? So this is filmed for TV. Copy. Thank you, Quinn. <laughs> there he that is. Looked very convincing. Yeah, Ricky, you sure you're okay with this? <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Ricky is so okay with it. And who are they supposed to be? They're all dressed in some interesting outfits. <laughs> I know. I don't know what part they've got. Carlos looks like he's been cast in Subway Surfers. No TikTok after 9 p.m. No surprise Etsy charges on my credit <laughs> wow. card bill. Rules. <laughs> and no boys. Oh. I met your mom when I was your age. Those was, was the best year of my life. Oh. Have fun, but be safe. Yeah. Is he giving <laughs> the talk? Oh. When a parent uses oh. the word safe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That, that was for you. <laughs> that was for you. It's just a melody right now, but I couldn't get it out of my head. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's self-aware. Gross. <laughs> Some guy said Ricky looks like a first draft of EJ, so. <laughs> well, that's gonna sting. What if we kind of stayed a secret? Oh. It just kept us for us? I don't know how he's gonna react to that. Because him and Nina... Nina. very... Nini was very public. As long as we're in us. So yeah. This is a bit different. Okay, he's, he's She's get on board. <laughs> so that might be why Jesus this new Christ. guy thinks he's in with a chance. Maybe, uh, maybe. After years of build up. Oh, we're finally my, god. oh my god. She is on her no. way to watch Senior Barbie in year. cinemas. Yes, <laughs> my first thought too. <laughs> He's still upset what? about the documentary? He thinks I cheated. Oh, yeah. Did I get a selfie? Oh, that no. was so badly insinuated. Thank you. I have to figure out a way to use my clout to get early admissions in the Ivies. If anyone can, it's you. How much clout you does she have now, then? Hey, Carlos. No, I'm no. sending Maddox voice memos. Kind of our thing. Oh. Oh, right. What? Okay. She's going through something, oh. and I just want to be there for her. Hmm. I just hope she's that there That was you, very too. Ricky of her, though. She sent me, like, a yeah. Pentafango. Right. She said to support him in his semester abroad. What give him space, but also abroad. Been... What big red gone? Why? Why has he been reduced to a minor character? I'm fuming. Come in. At least we still have Miss Jet. Faith is restored. For now. What a surprise! Richard Bowen's running late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, some things never change. High school musical again. No, Carla. Oh, is it gonna be high oh, three. school musical? Three. <laughs> high school musical three. This is the one that I don't remember. I remember number two so well. Yeah, and they never number did number three. two. I know. I love number two. That golf scene and everything <laughs> on the bridge, and they break up. Oh, it was brilliant. I gotta go my own way. <laughs> But free, I'm really rusty on. Yeah, even back in the day, I think I only watched it once because I didn't really like it. I know, I think I only watched it once as well. This year we have a special announcement. Ooh. <laughs> he really knows how to stir a crowd. The OG Coach Volta! Woo! Oh, here he is. My name's Bart Johnson, but many of you know me as Coach Bolton from the High School Musical franchise. <laughs> you telling me Ricky didn't know who that was? The oh, Reunion, a movie that's gonna shoot right here at East High. Wait, we're still gonna do High School Musical 3, right? Why wouldn't we? From his hit, cancelled sitcom, Market Spark, and you know her, <laughs> Some her sitcom. <laughs> videos, it's Mac and Danny. Come on, guys, come on out. Who? Oh. 
literally had a cardboard cutout oh, map when I was growing up. Oh, right, alright. And I would kiss it every night before bed. Oh, Gina oh. liked him. Oh. Gina's having a I moment. I should uh, say something. Not funny. Oh, so funny. I will play the co-captain of both East High's basketball team and the drama club. She lip syncs and can't actually sing live. Okay, mm. we're on the same side Ooh, of the because I saw the tea. same exact thing. And for all of my haters who say I can't actually sing live... Oh shit. I just wanted to say this. You music. Okay, that couldn't have been so perfectly timed, right? The coach Bolton over there getting into the groove. <laughs> Oh, okay, she is very good, if it's real. Homecoming is the secret code name for High School Musical 4. In between us, you should not be a security guard. <laughs> Corbin's on the clock. There he is! <laughs> Alright, look, you guys, I'm, I'm gonna make this quick. Is your helicopter waiting? <laughs> Dick! <laughs> Allow me to invite Redemption arc for Corbin play. Blue. Lucas, I need Mo. to see it first yeah. before I believe it. No. Here they are! So, we want- <laughs> needed a seat! It is our 15-year <laughs> high school reunion. My character, Chad, is married to Taylor. Oh, still oh. dance troll. Troy and Gabriella are in couples therapy. Mm. Ryan oh, is happily partnered Interesting. with twins on the way. Oh. Oh. Did they even mention Sharp either? We need you. To be featured extras, front and center in every scene with Miss Darvis. I mean, what better way to cast a drama class than with real drama students? Makes sense. Okay, yeah. Any volunteers to show Mac around? Right, like um, so somebody who grew up loving his TV show. Maybe okay. a like, single uh, to somebody. <laughs> oh, Ricky is saving. He knows. Gina, you are on Mac. Wow. Oh, well, this is fun. <laughs> Hollywood is a tempting mistress, but she will shatter you. Whoa. I don't know why I'm holding a light bulb. <laughs> is this movie how I changed my world? You might change your boyfriend. Anyone who doubts you is a fool. Let me follow you. <laughs> but you only follow like four people. Yeah, well, it's about to be five. I'm not a big fan of her right now. She's very, like, pretentious. I'm going to my office. Do I need a hall pass? You might, actually. Let me check to see if you're on the list. Jen just really has no control, and it's so unfair. And I let my actors improvise, so I don't <gasps> want screenwriters on office. my set. Um, okay. Oh my god, who is this? Oh, thank god. <laughs> he sent me a PA. Thank you. <laughs> I'm open to cutting the songs. What? All of them. No! Do you Who even cow? understand the films? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I I am a real student here. I only have one credit on IMDb and uh, I was kind of assigned to give you a hand. Slip the IMDb profile in there. Love that in the introduction. If I had known that you were in your boxers, I would have come way sooner. <laughs> Gina has absolutely done a blonder there. We never met. Oh, I'm way ahead of you. Oh, oh, is he a bit of an asshole? Good luck on okay, the movie, then. Mac. Super fan. Whoa! Actually, my name what? is Gina Porter. How did this change so quick? Never meet your heroes. Hmm. Oh, now he likes her for some reason. If you were me, would you be intimidated by this guy? Not the child. <laughs> it's like a child! Oh, he's pretty cute, but I bet he sheds a lot. I'd only be intimidated if that guy went to East High, buddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I'm gonna go get some milk for tomorrow morning. <laughs> I love milk. <laughs> I took a stab at the song, at the words to the melody thing you wrote. This was supposed to take us all year. Well, I like to finish my assignments early and move on to the next. <laughs> oh, one. this is like a metaphor for like the other guy. I was thinking it shows how all in she is for Ricky because she got it done so fast. <laughs> no, I literally thought the other. He automatically knows the song. <laughs> I know. Just so in sync. 
Oh my what god! What a transition! Season one flashback. I hated her so much back then. I know, but for good reason. She's putting out all the different hairstyles as well. And how did she pull them all off? Maybe this time it will work out for them. Mm. Yeah, I think I think there will be end game. Take a photo of me and send it to Seb. My hair looks good. <laughs> sure he sees it. Oh, why do you have thirty-five unread text messages from Maddox? <laughs> She's talking to her more than Big Red. My best friend, Danny. <laughs> uh, we need to unpack the phrase "best friend." I, I know. Don't that. say that in front of your Danny? other best friends. Hey, girl. I think you have the X factor. Was she Sun Cup? I have been going through all of your posts. I want you to tell me everything you know about Ricky Bowman. Oh, so she's after Ricky. How? When did she even meet him? I had leftovers, lol. <laughs> the message before. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a turn up for the books, isn't it? Oh shit! I feel bad for Miss Jen because she hasn't been able to put on a play for the kids in two seasons now if they don't manage to mm. succeed with this one and it is cool to have you know the OG cast back and I'm not complaining about that but like poor Miss Jen and it's also traumatic for her because of her own high school musical experience too I know it's so it's so annoying and like the audacity of that woman to say oh I've got a PA now oh let's get rid of all these directors notes oh it's my way or the highway like bitch you've been here 10 minutes let's call it these people are so pretentious yeah it's because they're them. all they're the big stars and whatnot so they don't really pay attention to the little people so to speak but like that the school has literally just given them Miss Jen's office and her rehearsal rooms and she has she's the drama teacher. Where else is she supposed to go? I know, I don't get it. Like, why is so many changes happening so soon? Like, it feels like so rushed and we've got all these new people in here thinking they own the place and are just messing everything up. Hmm. Like I don't, I'm not liking the introductions we've got here from some people. Yeah, I'm and not liking the introductions of the new characters. They all seem very rude. No, they are so horrible. Like, they're so fake, just like fully plastic. Like, they just, they are real people to me. Like, they are literally just like robots that are like, oh, followers, being popular, Hollywood, all of that. Like, that is all they live and breathe and we've got the kids here that are you know so down to earth so talented at what they do and they are gonna get like crushed by these people and i just don't want to see it happen i don't want them to convert to hollywood like courtney's being right now courtney snap out of it like, <laughs> i want to say that snap out of it you're not this girl i just want them to be so ugh, like they used to be like just good people you know the underdogs are doing really well and they're going the right way about it and not turning hollywood like miss jen said you know it will crush you yeah that's my piece on the matter <laughs> like mm. not liking this hollywoodness coming in here i will say we never aspect. really seem to like anyone when they're first introduced um you're but, being more optimistic. <laughs> but they're not giving off good first impressions, I have to say. And it's funny that they're both after Ricky and Gina, the, the new I pairing, know. new secret pairing. Ricky is so different. Like, he's the complete opposite of Danny. I know opposites can attract, but I doubt it. And he looks so in love with Gina. Like, I doubt they'd ever break up. Maybe have a rocky bit, but not, like... I just don't see them ever breaking up fully. And I feel like Ricky is the one that's always been the most uncomfortable around these high profile people because he's yeah. he, he kind of is the Troy, isn't he? Because he never really used to be into drama and now he's on the ears and he doesn't really get the references that everyone else does. Like it took him a while to realise who Troy Bolt, uh, Coach Bolton was, yeah. which was quite funny. But I do remember now that he never really used to 
be into all this stuff and like he only joined the play in season one to get Nini back um, and so he's like been thrust into all this and he doesn't have the same excitement for these famous people that everyone else does which I sure. respect because everyone else like tries to change their personality in order to get ahead like Ashlyn last season she was really trying to change herself to impress Corbin Blue um, yeah. but he just kind of remains the same chill Ricky like hey, what's the big deal like if it happens yeah. it happens and I like that about him he's he adapts to you know who he is he will always stay true to himself and he won't change who he is for anybody else and we've seen the likes of you know Courtney and Ashlyn go like tether onto that changing who they are to impress people I'm not a big fan of that um mm. just me personally I like more of the characters like you know Ricky Gina um Carlos um Carlos has know, always been quite um it, it's eccentric just his in that way yeah. yeah that is just who he is he's never changed that that's been him since day one I like those people that that like you know changes that is haven't healthy, changed. <laughs> but like yeah changes are healthy but not oh, yeah, no, Gina, Gina's else. changed since season one but she's changed for she the better she has she has she changed for the better like you said she's gone through improvements and gone through life experiences that have made her a bad person but that was her own personal journey that wasn't for anybody else yeah and i like that about her now and in season one i didn't like her at all really mm. but now i do and i you know i like that progression but i'm not liking courtney right now like i feel like she needs to stop focusing on the numbers the hollywood like just just be a bit bit more relaxed about it like i think that carefree attitude will be appealing you know and not being this fake like danny like you like choose better idols people like she is not who you should aspire to be like yeah i get that she Sorry, has dreams and all that stuff but i like Courtney the way she is it's funny how the last yeah. two seasons they've like kind of done this to our favorite characters like Ashlyn last season felt quite different and we were like she's not normally like this um and now they're doing it with Courtney as well and they are two of my faves and I think yours as yeah. well um also uh, I'll mention it again here but why are Big Brother Carlos not in this season again why like it's the final season are the actors booked and busy or something because I haven't heard anything or did they literally just get demoted they are two of my faves as well and I'm so mad that they're not in it again I know I'm quietly fuming here because when they said they've done this really bullshit excuse to get rid of Big Red like oh he's on a trip abroad you know studying yeah such a cop out such a cop out they've just written him off also no sign of mr mazara and if you know you no. know i am still waiting for my miss jenna mr mazara agenda if he doesn't appear in this season i will actually be writing a letter to the showrunners because like i liked miss jen and ricky's dad in season one i'll give them that but as soon as mr mazara had his like epiphany and his growth I was all in for them, and for her to just end up with Ricky's dad would just be, oh no, please, please. I know, they like, didn't even give it a chance, that's never, what's annoying about this. Never explored they, it. Never, like, I know they made a couple scenes with them, but they weren't like romantic really, like they weren't like in a couple kind of way, it was just more like bantery, like, oh they had so much opportunity here to create such an interesting storyline for those three characters like it is literally an older version of nini ricky and ej <laughs> like it literally oh, yeah. is ej he's not in it too which i expected more well i, I mean I, I did expect but um he'll i imagine he'll come back and make a cameo like at the I... end or something I think they're gonna do what they did last season and literally just bring them in for the final episode yeah, as audience members. To watch them shine. Like, I know, like it's such BS. I, I don't like that. I think like 
like don't, they don't have to have a major role but at least it featured them in a couple episodes at least yeah just to see how they're doing like i it's such a shame as this is the last season that we're not gonna get much of them like i'm sorry we I mean, always sound so negative about this stuff i feel like as every new season starts we're like no i hate yeah. this change we've but- got to get out our critiques at the start and then you know going forward with the rest of the season it'll be all right but we've got to get out now because this is our first taste of it well i think we forget also is that it's a disney show and like when you think about disney shows back in the day like there would just be characters that disappear for no apparent reason wouldn't there like i remember lizzie mcguire in the last few episodes her best friend just suddenly went abroad and um, she was no longer in the show and it was like what why i think the actress is filming something else and if if uh, the actors that play seb and big red are literally just booked and busy then i'm i'm happy for them but i just think if they have cut them out of the show for no apparent reason it's it's a waste of potential because they're in two of the like longest running relationships of the show how yeah. are you just ditching them and leaving them in the dust? I know! It's so stupid! Like, oh, I could harp on it for ages. But yeah, but um, yeah, it's, just it's, it's a Disney show and we're not really used to watching these uh, nowadays. This is the only recent uh, Disney show I've seen, that's for sure. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I feel like we kind of forget that. They, they do like to switch around their cast a lot, but I would take our old characters back in replacement of these new ones in a heartbeat for sure like (laughs) honestly i'm i i know i i find it hard accepting new characters i will give you that Mm. but these two are these these new characters are just so like like offensively bad (laughs) (laughs) like like, i i like i was open to giving them a chance but they are just so offensive to me like this is not the charming High School Musical I know. Also, I went back to look, and they didn't mention Sharpay, where Sharpay is in the film. Right. Okay. Because I, I was thinking, I was like, I wonder what Sharpay's doing. Yeah. Um... No one cares. But <laughs> I'm just so, like, surprised at the fact that Troy and Gabrielle are in couples counselling. That is gonna what? piss off some people. Just know that. That, yeah, that is, that's, why did they say that? Probably it's an explanation for why they're not going to be in it. Because they go to counselling once a week. Yeah. Like, that's why they can't be in the show. No, they can't give a better excuse like than that. But The one it, I missed was, was, they said Martha is a world-class choreographer. So that was the fourth one. So they, I guess they only really spoke about their characters and then... Um, Troy and Gabriella, but I mean, you've got to know what Sharpay's up to. Unless Ashley Tisdale makes a surprise appearance at the end, and that's why. I but doubt, doubt it. it. <laughs> yeah, highly doubt it. Um, yeah, that's a real shame, especially as her and Ryan were such a double act. Yeah. Oh my god, I'd love a more no rendition of Bop to the Top. Oh god, it was such a tune. And I'm sorry, but Sharpay had the best songs. Like, I know a lot the of people in this one. Yeah, a lot of people in this day and age stand Sharpe, and I will be honest, I haven't watched High School Musical since I was about nine, so maybe I would nowadays, I don't know, but I do remember her songs always being iconic. Like, another underrated one is Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apple Wa'a. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh my god, this is bringing back so. Many I memories. loved that one because I had the like uh, the karaoke thing on PlayStation, the karaoke game, and my go-to's would always be "Gotta Go My Own Way" and "Him Him Look Look Up What Are." And um, yeah, Sharpay is just—I feel like she is the most iconic character from she is. the series. I as mean, well. maybe they're trying to emulate that in Courtney because she was all in pink. Like oh, yeah. this episode. Yeah. So maybe, and she was very like sassy, very like onto her phone, like, you know, that sort of, you know, look that Sharpay had. Um, maybe they're trying to emulate it, her in Courtney. I don't know, just a theory, but yeah, it's kind of a shame she didn't really get much of a mooch. 
that's it for today guys thank you for your reaction to season 4 episode 1 of high school musical the musical the series if you want to watch our uncut reactions the link to the patreon page will be in the description below leave a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for episode 2 bye bye <laughs>